Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2021 Kia Sportage, we're gonna be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Draw Tight Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver. So it seems like many of our Sportage customers use their SUVs to do a little bit of everything. So if it were me, I would want a hitch that could handle, you know, pretty much anything you wanna throw at it. And I think this Draw Tight is going to do just that. So one of the big things I noticed that kind of separates this hitch from some of the others is I think this one would be a better choice for those of you that uh, plan on doing quite a bit of towing. Now that's not to say that this won't work well with hitch mounted accessories like a bike rack or cargo carrier because it will, it gives us good clearance and everything. But just the overall design of the hitch uh, kind of is better suited for uh, regular towing, if that makes sense. The safety chain openings are gonna be down here and a lot larger and really easy to get to. It's going to come with a pre-attached bracket. That way you could secure your trailer wiring here. And it's just gonna have some higher weight capacity. So um, if you plan on primarily towing, this would definitely be the route that I personally would take. Since this is a class three hitch, it's gonna have that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. So really common size, a ton of different accessories will work with it. And it's also gonna have a reinforced collar for a little bit of extra strength. It's going to utilize that standard 5 8 pinhole. Now keep in mind, a pin and clip does not come included, but if you need one, you can find it here at eTrailer. There's also gonna be a small hole in front of our main pinhole, and that's there uh, to allow us to use a J-pin, which is a stabilization device, and that'll eliminate any slop or play here in the connection point. And if that's something you're interested in, uh, you can find that here at eTrailer as well. Kind of talked about the safety chain openings, how they're really large and hang down. So they'll give us ample room to use pretty much any size hook that we might have. And as far as the weight capacities go, they're gonna be really impressive. As far as the hitch's maximum gross tongue weight rating goes, that's gonna be 675 pounds. And that's gonna be the amount of weight that's pushing down on the hitch. That's a pretty high number and you should be able to use pretty much any size bike rack or cargo carrier that you would want to, for example. As far as E-Hitch's maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, that's going to be 4,500 pounds. That's going to be the amount of weight that's pulling on the hitch. So that is the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it. Now this hitch can be used with a weight distribution system, which is a separate component. And when you use that, what it's going to do is help keep your Kia and your trailer nice and level whenever you're going down the road. But keep in mind, even if you use that component, the weight capacities are going to remain the same. Now I do always like to suggest, never a bad idea just to grab your Kia's owner's manual. That way you can make sure your Sportage can pull that much weight safely. And if you do plan on doing some towing, not a bad idea, bad idea to check out some trailer wiring. That way the lights on your trailer We'll match up with the lights on the back of your Kia and you'll be safe and legal. Now I'm going to give you a couple of measurements and you can use these to help figure out which hitch mounted accessories to get. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, that's going to be about 14 inches. So if you do plan on doing some towing, chances are pretty good you're going to need to get a ball mount with a rise. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, that's going to be about four and a half inches. And you can use that measurement to figure out that if any folding accessories you might have can be stored in that upright position without contacting the bumper. So at the end of the day, if this were my Kia and I wanted to do some towing, I feel like this would be the hitch that I would definitely uh, lean to. But uh, with that being said, it's also gonna work for those accessories really well uh, too. So you kind of get the best of both worlds there. Now, as far as the installation goes, it's really not too bad. Um, it utilizes some factory attachment points. So more or less, you have to remove a couple panels, uh, raise the hitch up and bolt it right in. So shouldn't really give you too many issues or take up a whole lot of your time. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be underneath the back of our uh, Kia. And the first thing that we're gonna need to do is remove the small underbody panel from each side of our vehicle. So starting on the passenger side, we're going to have a total of three push pins that we need to pull out. So we're going to have those three push pins, one here, and then two along this bottom edge, 
The way to get these out, you can use a trim tool or a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna just pry underneath the head of it and pull the whole thing out. And to actually get the panel removed, we can simply kind of just pull straight down on it. Get it uh, removed and side off to the side. Same thing over here on the driver side, except we're only gonna have two fasteners uh, that are located here along this bottom edge. So again, we'll get these popped out. Then we can pull down on our panel. and get it removed. Now what we can do is lower our exhaust a little bit. Uh, that way it'll give us the room that we need to work. So before we do that, what I like to do is just take a strap and run it from side to side and tighten it up a little bit. That way the exhaust will have some support and we can kind of control how fast and how far we let it down. So to get the exhaust lowered, we're gonna have two rubber isolator hangers, just like this one here. So one on each side of our muffler. And what you wanna do is spray these down with some soapy water or some type of lubricant, it just helps them come off. And then we can grab a pry bar and we're just gonna work one end of that rubber isolator off of our actual metal hanger. So here's the other one on the other side. And we're just gonna do that same thing to get it removed. And once we have them removed, we can loosen up our strap a little bit. And that'll allow us to kind of pull down on our exhaust and give us that extra space. So now before we put our hitch in place, I thought we'd go over the attachment points. Over here on the driver's side, we're gonna have a total of three. So we're gonna have these two factory weld nuts here on the side of our frame rail. And then we're going to be using this attachment point here, closest to the front of our vehicle. With that being said, it is a good idea, since these are well nuts, just to take a two brush and clean out any potential dirt or debris that may be built up inside. And over here on the passenger side, we're gonna have a total of four attachment points. Again, we're just gonna be using all of these well nuts Make sure we get them cleaned out. And now we can go over the hardware that we're gonna use. And the hardware is gonna be the same for all attachment points. We're gonna have a bolt and a conical tooth washer. When you put the conical tooth washer on, you wanna make sure that the teeth are gonna face up towards the hitch. And when we're holding the hitch in position, all we're gonna simply do is just thread that hardware into the well nuts. Now with an extra set of hands, we can raise our hitch into position. I want to go up and over our exhaust. You may have to kind of pull back on your fascia a little bit to get it to fit up there correctly. Then once we have it lined up, we're going to take a bolt. And we want to get at least one. Get one started on each side, hand tight. That way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of the hardware. Now that we have all of our hardware in place and hand tight, we can come back with a 5.8 socket and snug it all down. Now what we need to do is come back with a torque wrench and tighten down all of the hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. So now that our hitch is completely secure, we can go ahead and re-secure our exhaust. I sprayed the hangers down again. This time I'm just gonna use my hand to kind of line everything up and uh, Install the hangers. And once it's supporting itself, we can go ahead and remove our strap. 
Now what we can do is reinstall our underbody panels the opposite way that we removed them. Now the instructions don't mention it, but on the driver's side, the underbody panel, if you try to reinstall it, it is gonna interfere with the hitch. So we are gonna cut out an opening, that way we can put this back in place. So I went ahead and just uh, made some dots there where I'm gonna cut. This is relatively thin plastic. I'm gonna use a Dremel tool to cut it out, but I'm sure you could use a pair of snips or something like that to get the job done as well. So now that we have the driver's side panel trimmed out, we can reinstall it the opposite way that we removed it. And once this one is in place, the passenger side will simply just go right back up into position. We don't need to worry about trimming that one or modifying it in any way. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the draw tight class three trailer hitch receiver on our 2021 Kia Sportage.